Oh, this is kind of cool. A short video from Sam Onella while he goes on why nuclear is sick for four minutes. It's four minutes, I'll watch it. Hey kids, can I tell you a secret? Come here, closer. Nuclear energy? It's not a bad thing. Sure, 30 what? years ago, things like Chernobyl and Three Mile Island were certainly something to worry about. Today, however, it's a different story. Let me tell you kids about Thorium. Thorium is Uranium's neighbor, just two houses down. He's a lot like Uranium, just he's a lot more chill. Uranium's the type to do a half-assed job during the day and spend every night doing Jaeger bombs and blasting Kendrick Lamar, you know the type. No, Thorium, on the other hand, is more career-oriented, and at the end of the day, he's cool with just watching Netflix, eating Ben and Jerry's. Are you more of a Thorium or a Uranium, chat? Like, where do you find yourselves on that scale? Uranium gang? I'm more of an Ethereum. <laughs> Let me walk you through all the steps of nuclear power, and you'll see why thorium is so great. Let's start with mining. So when somebody doesn't feel like getting out of bed, they'll, you know, whine and moan and roll over. Likewise, when uranium doesn't want to get out of bed, he releases deadly cancer-inducing radon gas. Yeah, it'll This do means it. workers have to put up expensive ventilation systems just to, you know, not die. Thorium's chill. You go to wake him up, he understands he's got a job to do. Goes without a fuss. Chill guy Thorium. And even when you do get uranium up, like the lazy bastard he is, he has much less concentration in his ore compared to Thorium, so more work has to be done just to get the same amount of material. The Earth's crust also has much more Thorium in total than uranium. Oh, base. About three times as much. So you got your ore, and you've extracted it. Ready for work, right? Wrong. You see, natural uranium mainly consists of two different isotopes, uranium-235 and uranium-238. 238, 238 kind of sucks at life, so <laughs> uranium has to undergo enrichment to up its concentration. This whole fucking type of YouTube channel where they just take something scientific and they constantly put in, like, I don't know, like, jokes. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it, I think it's just good. People can learn through this. Of 235. Uh, Uranium's kind of like that kid with ADHD, right? You got him in the building. But you still gotta give him his own little room and a couple Ritalin before he starts doing anything productive. That's expensive. Thorium, on the other hand, look at him. He's look got his sneakers go. laced, glasses on. He's ready to go. No enrichment needed. Finally, you're ready to make some power. This part's important, kids. Pay attention. So this is where the biggest difference between uranium and thorium comes in. You see, uranium is fissile, whereas thorium is fertile. This means <laughs> oh, uranium can do his job all by whoa. himself, just doing his thing all on his own. Thorium kind of... Whereas thorium's kind of a cripple. He needs a little bit of someone else just to give him the push he needs to start releasing Why energy. Thorium kinda... This might sound like a bad thing, but if you think about it, it's a lot safer. If you've got your power production process started and shit suddenly hits the fan, uranium's just going to keep going. You can try to move him around, cool him down or whatever, but at the end of the day, this man's going to be swinging, and it's not going to be a good day for anyone. Thorium, he's only got one leg. Piss him off, he takes a swing at you. Just push him over, you're good. <laughs> Please note, Sam and Al Academy does not condone pushing cripples. And that's what thorium reactors do. They allow the barely radioactive liquid thorium to drain away from its helper in the event of an accident, so there's no way for things to escalate. Much safer. Cool. But while the process for thorium is better, most of the time, people care more about the results. Well, it just so happens, thorium is pimping in that regard as well. <laughs> CERN estimates that one this ton of thorium years old. is capable of producing as much energy as 200 tons of uranium. That's a lot. To compare, that's also equivalent to 3.5 million tons of coal. But I prefer the coal. I prefer the coal. 3.5 million tons of coal. Let's fucking burn it, baby. Clean coal. I'm all about clean coal. Can't put down the coal. <laughs> Let's talk about byproducts. <laughs> Thorium, being as pure as it is compared even to enriched uranium, produces about a hundred times less nuclear waste. So whereas we might not have as many X-Men, that also means much less work has to be done to dispose of the material. Additionally, it's very difficult to make a nuclear weapon out of Thorium since it can't do much on its own. The only thing that's really weaponizable about Thorium plants is that little bit of helper material I talked about earlier. But overall, that's a pretty minuscule amount. That means we can feel a lot better about plopping these plants down in places like Iran. So kids, you heard it here first. Thorium is the future. Powerful, okay. clean, reliable, and if things go wrong at the end of the day, you can still kick its ass.
Thanks, Salmonella. I think we still don't have a thorium reactor, though, except for maybe in China. Did China do one? China thorium reactor. Ooh. China to build thorium molten salt reactor in 2025. This year? Interesting. Good job, China.